In this video on growing an edible landscape, I'm going to talk about the spice bush. Several great things about the spice bush. Number one, it is native to the eastern United States. Number two, it does well in shade. Number three, it has edible parts. Number four, it has a very similar shape, form, and behavior as the honeysuckle. So it makes for a wonderful replacement plant if you want to pull out invasives and put in native plants instead. Now, the spice bush, as we see here, gets to about 6 to 12 feet tall. This one is about 7 feet tall. I planted it about 6-7 years ago. But what's impressive it is, is it is in deep shade. You see we have the deck and the house here. We have the understory of the taller trees, and it still has done wonderfully well. Now, a few notes about its edible nature. You get two for one with the spice bush because you get an all round treat, all year round treat. The leaves and the twigs can be turned into a tea. And that is available essentially from when it starts putting off new growth in the spring all the way through the early fall. Additionally, the spice bush creates a berry that's edible. The female spice bush will produce berries that ripen around mid September. Unfortunately, this year we had a late freeze in Cincinnati that froze off a lot of blooms, but this one did manage to save a berry or two for me. Berries can be dried out and turned into like a spice, like a pepper, or eaten fresh. If eaten fresh, they have a little turpentine type taste. I almost think of it kind of like an anesthetic a little bit, but here we go. Delicious. The spice bush plant is dioecious which means that each plant is either male or female. And to get berries, you need both a male and a female plant. The berries will appear on the female plant. So you see, if you put two and two together, you'll see what our friendship is for. In the fall, the spice bush leaves take a yellow color and then they fall. Any fool can see you're falling. I've got to make you understand. There is no need to say you love me. It would be better left unsaid. I give you everything on this, I swear. Just promise you'll always be there.